Once a female loggerhead has returned from the open ocean, it is not the end of her voyaging. She remains in the same feeding area for more than a decade before instinctively she makes another journey, the first of many. At around 30 years of age, she will be ready to breed and will return to the area where she was born. A female may swim for hundreds of kilometers to her nesting beach and so must have the energy reserves for her voyage. For most of their lives, loggerheads remain solitary creatures. This male has come too close to where an adult female forages. In the lead up to her breeding season, she has no hesitation in letting him know whose patch of coral this is. Then she swims guard around it. Males also will squabble over who has the rights to a patch of water above a feeding area. Serious damage can easily be inflicted by jaws that can crunch through thick clamshells. Finally, the time has come for the female to breed. As she swims, she senses the magnetic forces that were imprinted upon her as a hatchling. She will navigate back to the area in which she was born. And Colympus now thinks she will then choose which beach to lay her eggs in. She will return to that beach every nesting season. Male loggerheads swim directly to areas that they know females must pass through on their journey. A female will mate with several different males. The sperm is stored in her body so she can fertilize the clutches she will lay in her nesting season.